Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be watching the <laughs> the Matchless Kung Fu review bigger edition by Seth Zentek. What what the hell what, what was that thumbnail man? It's just like <laughs> it's a black dude in the middle of the hall. Oh my god. But yeah, three, two, one, go. Domain expansion. Immaculate crack rock. Oh my Domain god, this dude! Domain expansion. Homeless fist. Hey, hey, disciples. Seth here. Let me tell you about a game that's transfixed and captivated me for the past many days. Yo, the what? Kung Fu is an immersive sim that shows what life would be like if every man, woman, and child was trained in the martial arts. <laughs> that is to what? say... Uh, life would not last very long. This game takes place in the genre of wuxia. Oh this my is... god, why are you beating your penises? Right. That is to say, uh, life would not last very long. This game takes place in the genre of wuxia. This is Chinese sword fantasy fiction, but a little more grounded than some Bro, this is... This is real. This is real. Like, the, the left image is real. People fucking know everything over there. I've covered in the past. The game works like this. You play a world simulation where everyone has their own desires and motivation, which you expand by putting down plots of land. These are pre-made areas containing a challenge. If you finish an objective, you can place more land and you keep going until, inevitably, a Shaolin master breaks your spine. You're not expected to what? win from the first or second try. The Bro, this, is, this looks like, I mean, this is, play seems like play is like Kenshi. But it is, it is like the board of Until, Kung Fu. inevitably, a Shaolin master breaks your spine. You're not expected to win from the first or second try. The actions you took in a past life will influence the next through karma, and you're not expected to understand any of this. That's why I don't have to explain to you why I began <laughs> my journey drop-kicking roosters and fighting with a family dog. Nor do I have to explain to you this incredibly elaborate system of rock-paper-scissors that is combat, because the tutorial went over my head, but I've retained the knowledge non- it Actually, it looks so fucking good, though. Like that fight with the horse, bro. Oh, the journey, drop kicking roosters and fighting with a family dog. Nor do I have to explain to you this incredibly elaborate system. Yo, the dog, bro. The fucking horse is using different limbs and different parts for blocking and shit. That's actually really, really decent. Uh, rock, paper, I love the fighting. That because the tutorial went over my head, but I've retained the knowledge non-verbally. And finally, despite being at the top oh of the of a complete demigod with perfectly harmonized meridians, I can confidently tell you, I have no idea what's going on. For being <laughs> a product of RNG, my first Chinaman turned out Fireman. looking okay. My very first quest was to beat the shit out of wine-stealing monkeys, only to find yeah, out those motherfuckers animals can are be Abilities vary between animals, but for the monkey, this was begging. The monkey. Yo, you can, can ride a monkey? Out. Animals can be tamed. Abilities vary between animals, but for the monkey, this was Oh, you can make your Oh my god, who's gonna who's gonna deny a like hungry monkey when they're like, ah, oh, he's gonna have some begging. That the would be brilliant. Can beg for money, which in Yo, that's brilliant. beggar as I'm taking away from his <laughs> Serious, that's something that can happen. The local beggar, the monkey that's brilliant. Can beg for money, which infuriates the local beggar as I'm taking <laughs> away from his local business. In this game, oh, that's amazing. beggar is a profession, and just like doctors operate clinics, beggars operate churches. I was driven away and had to beg downhill instead. Then I got a quest to deal with some bandits. No problem, I thought, until I saw they were two women who could kill just by breathing on me. Oh, what does it say? Unfathomably- Oh my god! Luckily, my objective wasn't to defeat them, just burn down their camp. This was oh very <laughs> easy because they took several naps while I was doing so, only stopping when I burnt down their mattress. So they left and started harassing the locals. As it turns out- Oh my god, that's awesome. Charitable. So, so wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Are these- is this multiplayer? Are those real people? I think, right? Maybe not, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Or are those NPCs who are like designed in this world to maybe become a conflict or a, like friends to you or allies? This is so fucking interesting. We started harassing the locals. As it turns out, one of the bandits had the charitable perk, which meant that she would rob the local store, beat up the owner, and donate- This looks so much like- is this not the creator of Kenshi? All her savings directly to my monkey. I made a lot of money from the bandit monkey pipeline, and I found the constant brawls to be very- Yo! Until it wasn't, okay. the store owner was dead on the floor. But, I the, health, I but the health was full, what? 
It's detaining. Dead. Until it oh, wasn't, the okay. store owner was dead on They're the floor. Training. I realized I had to do something, or I was going to lose a lot more NPCs. For I the the two bandits into a non-lethal sparring competition. It actually has fucking cinematics? Bro, I'm gonna get this game immediately. What the hell? It was, it was quite cheap too. Like, even locally, it was really, really cheap. Holy shit. Three, two, one. That's good. Broke their strength, quickly it's rested, so good. and jumped them again before they could recover. This bumped up my reputation, and I was offered a selection of different schools of martial arts. Naturally, I chose to join the drunken sect. Not only did I get a bunch of skills that are simple enough that even I can reliably combo, I oh, also got God. informed that I had a secret admirer. Who, may I ask? Well, the person telling me. And just like that, I had a significant other. She sleeps on the floor. Sorry, honey. Oh, that's the image. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the image. <laughs> That's the image in the thumbnail. I was like, what, what, what is going on? Are you all right? She sleeps on the floor. Sorry, honey. The bed is reserved for me and the monkey. As we lay together and pick lice out of each other's hair, our bond strengthens. Following cultivation tropes, you can attend auctions to bid on rare and expensive items. Every time someone makes a bid for an item or increases their bid, the other guests become more jealous. If you let this play out in the background in its entirety, everyone who went to the auction is now seething with hatred and will try to kill every other attendee in this game you don't get stronger what? from fighting you get stronger <laughs> okay let's see that again strengthens following cultivation tropes you can attend auctions to bid on rare and expensive items every time <laughs> someone makes a bid for an item or increases their bid the other guests become more jealous if you let this play oh. out in the background and it's oh, okay i get it now who went to the auction is now see if let's murder because of jealousy kill every Fucking other up. attendee in this game you don't get stronger every auction from fighting. you get stronger by connecting shapes in the right order to activate inner oh my God. in my case however uh, i got alcohol immunity i didn't understand the value <laughs> of this until i sat down for a drink and saw a small option to make a toast i could forcibly drink someone under the table and when they're passed out i could kidnap their body and rob them blind which is that is actually disturbing but i'm very funny <laughs> You can basically raise someone to death by drinking. Exactly what I did for the next Immunity hour to until something. everyone was running around in sub-zero temperatures in boxer shorts. <laughs> enough normal plots lets you place special plots. Can they die by that fucking temperature? Enough normal plots lets you place oh my special God. plots such as towns. Soon as I entered, two men started bickering because one had slept with the other's wife. I intervened against infidelity, but a little too strongly because he was now dead. I sat oh. down at the bar to continue my drunken robbery when the same woman who committed adultery tried to seduce me. Honoring my oh, beloved, shit. I rejected her advances. So I she to kill me if I said oh, no. Fuck and you. she did, because she's got 12k vigor. So oh I my god, what the fuck is it? Why the horse has that the best, for forgiveness. best? Instead, she yeah, yes. me off lightly by breaking my legs. The irony of the situation is that she owned the town clinic and would help treat my crippling disability the next day. I lived a good life. I trained oh hard. And God. despite that, I am surrounded that's like, by <laughs> so That's like the fucking dude who put like bone meat in other people's eyes just so he could take it away as a doctor next day. The next day. I lived stupid. a good life. I trained hard. And despite that, I am surrounded by sociopaths that could kill me on a whim. I hate <coughs> this place. I'm gonna go parkour across water. Going far north in the map is how you get captured and imprisoned. This is not a bad thing. This is how you unlock your second and third character slots. As said before, Expensive? you're not meant to win on the first try. Or rather, you're not the main character. The protagonist of this story is your ancestors. Quick briefing on power levels. Everything is- Oh, wait, and- Okay. It's about vigor, which is how much punishment you can take. No matter how good you are at finessing the combat and exploiting meridians, your starting character's vigor will cap off at around 2k. So for reference, at your absolute peak, you are half as strong as a giant toad. How oh my do God. we remedy this? Genetic. Well, uh, to be fair, that giant toad is like one of the most annoying enemies and one of the most powerful enemy is <laughs> in Konosuba. Much like a trailer park is Jesus. much more of a gene pond than a gene pool, your choice of partner has consequences on your child's pedigree. You need to choose the right China man or China what? woman to chintegrate into your lineage. If you're the offspring of a sect leader, you're born with 2k extra vigor. That's nice, but we need to go even harder. There are many myths, many legends. In high school, we used to nipple cripple each other. If you're not familiar, that's where you grab both nipples and twist paint. Oh, 
like this. Oh, that's um, <laughs> that's purple nipple. Painfully, usually that's a in a charging nipple. room when they're most vulnerable. Until one of our friends told us that's how a kid got nipple cancer because he got nipple crippled too often and it became a tumor. We knew the story was bullshit. That's impossible. Like, we were scared and we never did it again. You so know why? You know why? Because when 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 someone does it to you, it kind of feels like the core of your nipple is like in pain and it be, it that hits your fucking chest and the stomach and everything. It's like. Where are these nerves coming from? But yeah, it's like nipples connected Lord, to little ear. I heard tales of impossible. hitting 30k vigor. Don't do and that. I think I know how. Some call it intuition. I call it reading a guide on Steve. Fuck? Now, some call it intuition. I call it reading that a guide on four Steve. Karma jumps. are objectives you complete during life that allow you to take different blessings in the next. Our objective, pristine birthright, right. requires the following. 30 lovers, 30 grudges, or a million gold. Gold is out of question, so I went with 30 grudges instead. For reference, the worst thing you can do to someone is destroying their kung fu. Understandably, beating someone so hard they forget how to move creates a lot of animosity. At first, I was non-lethal and just battled people, stole their kung fu, and locked them in a cage. This got problematic very quickly. I would imprison someone's mother so their daughter would show up and start breaking the cage from outside <laughs> trying to sense. rescue them. So I had to knock her out, put her in another cage, only to see the mother try to break out from inside to rescue her but daughter. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> the mother is in captivity. It's like, all right, I'm, uh, it's, he doesn't do shit. <laughs> the daughter comes in, the daughter, they arrest the daughter, the mother, adrenaline kicks in and kicks the door. What? That's fucking insane. Funny. Became That's funny. And try to make a prison break. Makes sense. Eventually, it was too much. Yo. So I had to start what taking heads. Fuck? All I wanted was 30 enemies, but it seems now. I'm going to need 30 body bags. This was a problem because I couldn't keep track of the people I killed and their relations to one another. I accidentally killed off someone's parent only to find out their daughter had 12k vigor and was chasing me across the land. I died <laughs> several times and had to reload. The only way Can I was going to survive them? was by friendship and paying the master of my sect a thousand gold to beat the shit out of her. As I, <laughs> her head, I realized, why do I even need this karma quest oh when I have a small army that can finish the entire game? There are no words to describe the experience of combat when your fights are stacked 20 no, against no, one, no, except incredibly fair. I thought yes. I was invincible, but I flew too close to the sun. You see, slowly, over time, my army kept taking internal injuries, but their AI wouldn't let them go to a clinic for treatment, and I didn't pay attention. Suddenly, some of them died, which caused their friends to blame so me for their death, which forced me to fight them, but then they died died and my other companions attacked me. My failure cascade was out of control and I died at the hands of my own men. I thought I was girl boss of this empire, but in truth, I was nothing but the boss baby. I looked back on the Seems footage like to it. figure out what? exactly where it all went wrong and surprisingly, I don't even wasn't. know what is happening anymore. Is he, is, is, is he, is he, is he, she, is she the one? Inflicted <laughs> injuries. Now, Who are these people? What happened was I ate shit to see what happens. And I saw the animation and I thought it was really funny. However, my dysentery gave me a stack of poison what gas, the which fuck? spreads from close contact. My army was exclusively in close contact. So <laughs> the cause of death of everyone and myself included was my own excrement. But it turned out I made enough enemies in this life that I finished my karma quest. Pristine Birthright gives you the single biggest power spike in the game, if you can actually use it. If I could figure it out, I'm sh if you life, but I finished my karma quest. Pristine Birthright gives you in <laughs> one, three, five, seven, nine, so odd ones, activate your confluence slot, um, everyone, that in or in that order, ignoring requirements, requirements, what the fuck is that? Increase training progress of all your Kung Fu by 20 every day, reduces ex reduces external energy and consumption by 99%? Okay, that is, <laughs> that is a lot of little things. I know, I assume those are some of the... Which, Single the biggest fuck? power spike in the game, if you can actually use True it. True method, if I could holy it out, shit, that's I'm such sure a fucking too. sick in name too. you do this yourself, I found out I didn't actually need grudges, and I could have just marked 30 people as enemies. Turns out, force-feeding people shit, gouging out their eyes, and repeatedly breaking their legs was completely unnecessary. Ah! a lot more about myself. The my crunches, I hope you added. My actions would come to haunt me for my third character, as I start 
with ill fate, which means I'm more likely to be struck by lightning. I try to cheese the system by what? playing for rain and speedrunning life. Unfortunately, lightning only cooks you, so I tried dying to bandits. They refused to kill me as well. Instead, they put me in a cage and went to sleep. Occasionally, they would wake up and poison me before going back to sleep. Why? failed to kill me. Frustrated, I ran to the Forbidden Palace, which is this game's version of a government. This is staffed by people who are referred to as an incomplete person, who are missing their precious treasure. This is a very Chinese way of saying they lost their penis. I could go on to explain oh. how dynasties thought this would prevent okay. nobles and so public officials from seizing power because they couldn't produce children. Hey, but I digress. Anyway, I set fire to the palace, and I Too was much. promptly executed. And it was all for nothing, because my negative karma was still there. Also, I found out Groin Kick has a chance to permanently crush your balls. Oh! Deal with information as you will. So, I made my fourth Fuck and yeah. final character, Supreme Genetics. Excellent Ballbuster. karma. And you know what he does with it? Nothing. Because the I unlocked the beast tongue and can now tame <laughs> infinite monkeys. Now, I have complete monopoly on the entire begging sector. This game is... What, 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 is it, what does the Japanese people call it? Uh, not cracker <laughs> like that, that shit <laughs> i'm gonna name it Infinite that shit. monkeys now i have complete monopoly on the oh entire begging sector this game is undeniably Sticious. early access the translations can range from english to absolutely esoteric but the gameplay is so intuitive that i never felt like i was missing out there is one exception to this it's called verbal duels and they're completely insane. This is the equivalent of an online debate where the objective is to mentally break. yo what that's awesome. That's awesome. This is the equivalent of an online debate where the objective is to that mentally is break mockery. your opponent. That's Instead amazing. Vigor, you use spirit and depleting someone's spirit will put them in hysteria and hysteria can lead to death. This game lets you troll someone to death. It's <laughs> really hard to say which single event Perfection. in the sandbox broke me. Was Perfection. it the time I went to the clinic for a broken leg only for the doctor to forcibly throw me outside because it was one minute past his bedtime? Or was it my wife <laughs> screaming at me for having an affair? As I have no option to explain to her that I have no relation to this giant black serpent <laughs> and it only holds feelings of intimacy for me because I implanted it with a love parasite. Since writing these Makes lines, my world sense. got flooded. I tried to swim north if that's a if that's a if that's a if that's a chain of events that can happen this game is this thing <laughs> why and got eaten by a great white shark this came out of nowhere so it scared the that shit out of me what this was the, the hell? worst jump scare i've ever had oh I got my god uh. and was very afraid so i'm giving they this have this game a zero eyes. out of ten in all seriousness if you're willing to put up with a lot of bad translation and want a sandbox where you can live out your power fantasy of <laughs> Get that most face. In all seriousness, if you're willing to put up with a lot of bad translation and want a sandbox where you can live out your power fantasy of ah. <laughs> killing everyone with your bare hands, then I thoroughly recommend Perfection. it. For the price they're asking, I definitely got my money's it's so worth. Cheap. It's, it's pleasant, so cheap. it's charming, and there's it's a lot amazing. to explore, but I haven't had the time to cover. As always, more content to come, so stay what? tuned. This video didn't take that long. Many of my videos take very long, and even longer as time went by. Decision paralysis corrodes every content creator. However, yep. my autism has been cured. Thank you, Lexapro, and most of all, thank you, Allah, for your glorious blessings each day. I have a couple ads this year. I got bills to pay, but I no have to worries. make up for it. With a garbage quality, you know and expect. A warm thanks to the many members of a merchant's guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos. Thank you for You're funding him. Truly wonderful. This is awesome. One. Domain. Ex I I love I love his persona so much, man. But yeah, it's I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this video again like two times. But uh, then I'm gonna go and play the games after I learn some things. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Sorry for the blue share. This, the, I had no share. See you.